仅因为 the blockade Union for Guards organization and its depot, the UNIC secret police organization always competed to gain the favor of the emperor. At the early Ming Dynasty, the emperors favored Jin Yi Wei. The first emperor of Ming Dynasty, Emperor Hongwu, despised the eunuchs. In his eyes, eunuchs were not the real men. He only allowed eunuchs to do the cleaning and the cooking job. But his descendants favored eunuchs more and more. Unlike Emperor Hongwu, who fought in the battlefield, his descendants grew up in the harem and surrounded by numerous women. When they grew up, they did not have the confidence and ability to control Jin Yi Wei, so they preferred to use eunuchs to do the secret police job. During this time, Jin Yi Wei even became the hatchet man for the East Depot. Some commanders of Jin Yi Wei flattered the head of the East Depot as their daddy. The founder of Jin Yi Wei, Emperor Hong Wu. Might climb out his mausoleum and beat them to death if he knew his men called Eunuch's daddy. Jin Yi Wei gradually lost their masculine labor. They were not regarded as the men of men by Ming Dynasty people anymore. People started to call them the doggies of East Dayport. However, the situation changed after Zhu Hou Zhao became the emperor. Emperor Zheng De, Zhu Hou Zhao, favored eunuchs like his predecessors, but he also favored Jin Yi Wei. Lots of evidence showed Zhu Hou Zhao might be a gay, at least a bisexual. Zhu Hou Zhao became the emperor at the age of 14, so he relied on his care provider, eunuch Niu Jing. He promoted Niu Jing to be the head of East Depot. Niu Jing punished the civilian officials by harsh laws and confiscated the rich courtiers' properties. The civilian official group hated Niu Jing. They convinced Zhu Hou Zhao to believe that Niu Jing wanted to rebel against him. Under the huge pressure from the civilian official group, Zhu Hou Zhao agreed to exact Niu Jing by death by a thousand cards. Because of Niu Jing's death, the East Depot organization was heavily ruined. The young Emperor Zhu Hou Zhao did not want to be the puppet of the civilian official group. He then started to use a secret weapon his ancestor Emperor Hong Wu had created for him. The secret weapon that can control the civilian official group and the secret weapon that can protect imperial power. That is Jin Yi Wei. Zhu Hou Zhao promoted his favorite man Quan Ning to be the commander of Jin Yi Wei. Quan Ning was good at horse riding and archery, and he was good at flattery. He knew that Zhu Hou Zhao was a playboy, so he built a fun house for Zhu Hou Zhao. This fun house was called the Leopard Chamber. In this Leopard Chamber, there were many beauties and wild animals. Zhu Hou Zhao loved to play fierce white animals. According to Zhu Hou Zhao's observation, the leopard was the wildest wild animal. Lots of fierce wild animals became tired and lazy after being played by Zhu Hou Zhao. Only leopard kept being fierce. That's why Zhu Hou Zhao's farmhouse was called the Leopard House. Zhu Hou Zhao was quite satisfied with Qian Ning because Qian Ning brought him so many beauties and wild animals. He generously shared his beauties with Qian Ning. Qian Ning accepted the beauties happily. However, Zhu Hou Zhao not only shared his beauties with Qian Ning, but he also shared his wild animals with Qian Ning. One day, Zhu Hou Zhao wanted to be a tiger-fighting hero like Wu Song in the Ming Dynasty popular novel, Water Imagine. After entering the tiger's cage, he gave up at the last minute. Zhu Hou Zhao decided to let Qian Ning to fight with the tiger and he himself to be the hero. He ordered Qian Ning to fight with the tiger, but Qian Ning refused to go ahead. Mr. Tiger was so angry that these two guys had played him for so many days, so the tiger fiercely ran towards them. Qian Ning immediately ran away. 
regardless of Zhu Houzhao. Just then, a guard named Jiang Bing ran to Zhu Houzhao and stopped the tiger. At last, the tiger was controlled by him and other guards. Zhu Houzhao watched this strong and handsome guard and said, No, I don't need your help. I can manage it myself. Zhu Houzhao's mouth said no, but his body was quite honest. He snapped with Jiang Bing since that day. After this incident, Zhu Houzhao did not favor Qian Ning anymore. Jiang Bing became Zhu Houzhao's favorite. Zhu Houzhao gave Jiang Bing lots of power. Jiang Bing became the commander of Jin Wei and the supervisor of the East Depot. That means Jiang Bing controlled the two most important secret police agency. The expansion of Jin Wei power made the civilian official group greatly panicked, and they also worried that Jiang Bing might become another Dong Zhuo because the emperor led Jiang Bing to be the head of the four garrison armies, and he ordered the four garrison armies to settle in Beijing. Garrison armies were much fierce and hard to control than the capital armies. Jiang Bing might be the strongest Jin Wei commander in martial value. He was previously a garrison army general in defending Mongolia at the frontier garrison. In year 1510, peasant Liu Liu and Liu Qi's rebellion armies had encircled Beijing. The capital army failed to defeat the rebellion army. Emperor Zheng De, Zhu Houzhao summoned the garrison armies to come to save Beijing. Jiang Bing had participated in suppressing the peasant rebellion army and killed lots of rebellion soldiers. The rebellion was quelled at the last. Jiang Bing thus got the opportunity to become the guard of Emperor Zheng De, Zhu Houzhao. In mid Ming Dynasty, the combat effectiveness of Ming armies kept on decreasing. Zhu Houzhao felt the pressure of improved ability of Ming army. That's why Jiang Bing, who had the military talent and experiences, was favored so much by Zhu Houzhao. Zhu Houzhao listened to Jiang Bing's advice. He decided to leave the Forbidden City for inspection in frontier military garrisons. This made the ministers and the cabinet extremely angry with Jiang Bing. They criticized Jiang Bing for alluring the emperor to travel and play. But the truth might be that the officials were secretly doing trade business with the Mongolians, so they did not want the emperor to find this secret. Zhu Houzhao slipped away and went to the garrisons with Jiang Bing. In the autumn of 1517, they met the Mongolians outside the city of Yingzhou and defeated them in a major battle by surrounding them. For a long period of time after this battle, the Mongols did not launch a raiding expedition into Ming territory. However, the civilian official group worried that the military nobles of which the emperor was the head, might expand their power after the victory of the Yingzhou battle. So they pushed the emperor to come back and stay in the Forbidden City. Zhu Houzhao did not want to be the Forbidden City prisoner. He preferred to stay in Jiang Bing's hometown, which was Xuanfu garrison. There he could beat the raiding Mongolians and play with the wild garrison women. Two years later, in year 1519, Prince Ning, who was Zhu Houzhao's uncle, rebelled against him. Hearing the news, Zhu Houzhao was so excited, he then insisted to go to South China for suppressing Prince Ning's rebellion. This time, the courtiers strongly opposed Zhu Houzhao's South expedition. But Zhu Houzhao still made his south expedition. Jiang Bing accompanied him. Prince Ning's rebellion was quelled. Secrets about Prince Ning's deal with the courtiers were found by Zhu Houzhao. Even the cabinet chief, the Grand Secretary Yang Tinghe, 
was bribed by Prince Ling. On his way back to Beijing, Zhu Houzhao accidentally fell into the river and got sick. He died a few days later, after he went back to the Forbidden City. After Zhu Houzhao died, Jiang Bing was in a dangerous situation, but he was still the commander of Jin Yiwei. What's more, Jiang Bing also had controlled the capital armies, the four garrison armies, and the twelve elite corps. In other words, Jiang Bing could be the regent if he was smart enough. However, Jiang Bing was only a simple-minded muscle man. He can defeat a tiger with bare hand, but he can't defeat the cunning civilian officials. He was cheated to have a negotiation with the cabinet chief Yang Tinghe. Jiang Bing was killed after he entered the negotiation place. In Ming Dynasty, when the military official agreed to have a negotiation with the high-ranking civilian officials, they were done, and this rule also applied to Mongols. Before Jiang Bing was executed, his beard was pulled out. This was a vast humiliation to a man. In Ming Dynasty, only eunuchs did not have beard. Zhu Houzhao and his Jin Yiwei commander Jiang Bing both died. In Ming Dynasty, after one emperor died, the history about his ruling period will be recorded in the document called Ming Shi Lu, the records of Ming Dynasty. Yang Tinghe's students wrote Zhu Houzhao's part. Jiang Bing was recorded by them as a cunning and evil person who always annoyed the emperor to relinquish the imperial duties but to play. Jiang Bing was the strongest Jin Yiwei commander, but he was not the most powerful Jin Yiwei commander. After Zhu Houzhao died, the civilian official group selected a prince to be the new emperor. The new emperor was Jia Jing Emperor. During his reign, Jin Yiwei's power reached to the peak and the most powerful Jin Wei commander showed up.